the Amur Leopard, the rarest cat in the world. The Amur Leopard is rare, all right. So rare, so highly endangered, that the Planet Earth crew filming in the Russian Far East may turn out to have been the last humans ever to see a wild one. They were shocked by the rarity of many species that they filmed for the series, not just Amur Leopards. I just felt amazingly excited, incredibly privileged. You know, you're aware that very few people in the world have, have seen this cat, and that there's a risk that not that many people will see one in the future. Pakistan, the Himalayas, this. A snow leopard, the rarest of Himalayan animals. The Planet Earth team spent months just trying to glimpse a snow leopard and more months to film one. How do you conserve a creature that you're lucky even to see? How do these scientists or how do these conservationists know where this animal is, how many they are, and what their behavior is? Someone told me that there were 3,000 between China and Afghanistan. Now, I mean, we've had a very tough time identifying three. There is a threat to its existence simply because not enough is known about it. We really don't know where it thrives. Because it's isolated, you expect that a lot of wildlife is there. How much of it and what are the elements affecting it are unknown. The head count of the Amur leopard is much more disturbing. Because of habitat loss and poaching, there are just 30 left in the wild. With extinction so close, conservation becomes desperate. Here in New Orleans at the Audubon Zoo, we have a pair of the Amur leopards, and our long-term strategy with them is to work with what we call the Species Survival Plan. It is a plan that is part of the American Zoo and Aquarium Association, which is our kind of parent organization here in the United States. And the Amur leopard is one of the high-priority uh, animals. What's happened recently and, and some of the work that we're doing uh, involving cloning has allowed us to now not necessarily take um, eggs and sperm, but we're able to take tissue samples from these animals. Put this tissue sample into culture and where it was once maybe 100 cells, we can now grow thousands of cells. And each one of those cells contains the complete copy of DNA of this animal. So we can freeze these cells. And let's say 50 years from now, scientists go into those liquid nitrogen containers and they pull out the DNA from tigers, some more leopards, rhinos. That DNA is alive and it's able to be used to produce embryos that then could result in babies and offspring. So what I'm hoping we leave in our lifetime is this living library for the future for 50 years from now, the scientists can say, oh my gosh, you know, we're, we're about to lose this little rusty spotted cat from Sri Lanka or this Amur leopard. But you know what? We have the DNA. We have the science behind this to be able to at least bring the numbers up of the species so they won't go extinct. I think we have to be very careful about producing something which is a facsimile of a wild animal from something which is able to exist in the wild. And one of the problems of keeping animals in conventional zoos the selective pressures are very great, and you're actually moving that animal towards domestication. It may look the same, but it may not have the skills or the behavioral attributes or the physiology to survive in the wild. You know, it's funny when people say, um, we may be playing God, we may be controlling, we may be taking charge of kind of these species' destinies. But you know, man played God a long time ago. I think and I believe God gave us stewardship over these animals. And what we're doing is using the, the capabilities that we have as humans to not destroy animals any longer, but to try to protect them, to preserve them, to bring them back. 
It wasn't by design that the Planet Earth series featured a lot of animals that were critically endangered. They were chosen because they represented something. Migrating grazers, resourceful predators, each integral to a larger machine, an ecosystem. The animals just turned out to be endangered too.